Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Very toss. Um, it's Erin McCole Cup, author of the Janie Friendless Orphan series, as well as the um, Murder Mystery Don't You Forget About Me, co editor of Image and Likeness, an anthology of theology, the body, fiction, and poetry. Um, also a lay Dominican, and just uh, finishing up our regional meeting here in beautiful Cape May, New Jersey, on a beautiful afternoon. And I just had something on my heart that I didn't really get a chance to say during the meeting. So it's just kind of niggling at me until I get it out there, I guess, get it out here on my page, because I can. Um, one of the things we were talked to about today was kind of like, as Dominican laity, we're not doing enough. That there are groups in the Philippines with far fewer material resources who are who build a school and they're staffing it themselves and they're you know, doing all these amazing things for all these people and there's a like, group of Dominican laity in Africa and they build a hospital that they are staffing for free um, and we're not doing any of those things we're just doing piddly little things like you know feeding the poor and like it's just small amounts of poor, <laughs> you know, not, not feeding, not doing these big grandiose things. Um, what we're doing isn't really right, anything to write home about here in America. And we have all these material resources. <sighs> and that was kind of hard to hear. I'm not going to lie. But we heard it right before we went into mass, which is always a good time to hear things because then you get to bring it into that most intimate embrace that we ever get with human, as, as humans with our God. And that's, you know, in the Eucharist. And God kind of put it on my heart that maybe we're doing so little because we have so little. You know, that sounds really strange. Like, well, you're Americans. You have everything, right? Um, what do you lack? Well, frankly, we're lacking lay Dominicans. There are lots of different kinds of wealth. There's material wealth, which we've got in abundance. Um... And then there's spiritual wealth. And I think there's also at legit manpower wealth, human power wealth, that in a way, because we are not a spiritually wealthy country, we've sort of contracepted and aborted away all of our lay Dominicans from my generation and up. Um, so... That's hard to see, too. I mean, how many more people would we have? How many more people would we have if they had been allowed to live? And, you know, learned that there is beauty in struggle. That there is victory after struggle. But that didn't happen. And it keeps not happening. So all these little things that we're doing as lay Dominicans, I, I kind of hope they're our widow's might. They're the tiny little thing because we are spiritually poor. We're spiritually poor in this nation because um, so many lives have been robbed from us. You know, so many friends and enemies and brothers and sisters that we don't get to have, they're gone. They're not here. So we're poor in that way. But we are taking what we have as lay Dominicans and we're, we're bringing it to the Lord. It might not be much, but it's something. And I just kind of want to put that out there for my brothers and sisters in the laity, maybe in the consecrated life too, that just, we got to keep bringing that might. Got to keep bringing that little, little bit. And may it please the Lord because when we give from our poverty, we really, really give. So that's it. I, it was really nice meeting everybody today and um, hope you have a, a blessed week and year because I, well, six months because I don't see you until the spring. So, fairy toss. God bless. Bye.